Good morning and welcome to today's verse, To God Be the Glory. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Psalms, Psalm 71, verse 9, and it says this, Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. I remember when I was a teenager, when I was in school, I, I often thought that some of my teachers at the age of 30, that they were old, and the principal at the age of 40, that uh, he was really old. But when I reached the age of 30, then I began to think that, well, maybe 50 is old, but I was still running seven minute miles. So then I thought, well, maybe 60 is old. And so when I got to 63, I'm still wondering when I will feel old. Sure, I, I can't do the things that I used to do when I was 20. I don't have the stamina uh, to multitask or to work 60 hours a week like I did when I was in the army. But in my mind, I am forever young. When do you feel old? For me and for other seniors out there, I think it is when we're treated as if we're old. It is when we're pushed aside, when we're ignored and forgotten. The psalmist prays, do not cast me away when I am old or forsake me when my strength is gone. Um, I don't think that the Lord will do that. I think that the Lord can use you regardless of your age, but people tend to push you aside. Corporate America prefers youth over wisdom, but when the church begins to cater only to the younger generation and forgets that the body of Christ is multi-generational, that's when we begin to feel old. Now, although my strength may fail me, I and I cannot preach a sermon without notes anymore. My desire is to grow stronger in the Lord each and every day. And I shall not be finished until uh, sharing the gospel and giving witness to the Lord until my last breath. I remember the words of a dear friend of mine who died at the age of 92. He said that you are not finished until you're finished. And he gave witness to every nurse, every aide, every attendant that came to him on his deathbed uh, sharing the good news. And he is my, uh, he is my mentor and my encourager. And I encourage you today, remember that you're not finished until you're finished. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, <laughs> as we consider today's verse. Amen.